Okay, so I got the uh, gimbal working for the camera. Still don't have my flight controller or nothing, but I figured I'd put this on here. Let me get it plugged in real quick. See if I can do this with one hand. I don't know if I can or not. Put the camera down for just a second. So if anybody that doesn't know what a gimbal does, let's see if the light, okay, yeah, it's ready. It takes a second for it to calibrate. But so this automatically tries to keep the camera steady as you fly, it keeps it pointed forward. Because the way the quadcopter works, it, it angles itself when it wants to turn. So if you had a camera that was fixed there and it ang you know, was flying forward, you'd be looking at the ground, returned, you'd have sideways angles. As you can see, the, the gimbal automatically keeps the camera pointed forward. Pretty cool little Device. It's hard to do this with one hand. It's, this quad's really heavy. But that's what I got so far. Here's the, the motors. I'm still waiting on the uh, props. My flight controller. I got my my radio, the actual, you know, the c transmitter controller in the mail and had to send it back because it didn't work. Long story. Uh, it was a real pain in the ass. They sent me one. That had already been returned to the store once, and then they resold it to me, even though it didn't work. And then they still made me pay for shipping and send it back, which is complete bullshit. But so, anyway, it's coming along. I spent quite a lot of time working on the. Uh, I had made my own power distribution board. It brings power in from the battery. And then it, don't think you're gonna be able to see it down there. Anyway, it uh, splits power one before it comes up to the gimbal. Then you got one for each motor. Comes out. Uh, and the the wires, uh, the wires come through. This is the speed controller. Each motor has its own. The little power comes out goes through this on the back end, loops around, and then it comes in and comes through this uh, pipe, comes through here. So they, there's no exposed wires out here on the uh, arms. And on this one, my uh, uh, flight controller will be up here. There's actually so a couple modules that come with mine because it has a GPS. But the, the main controller will be up here. And then the uh, antenna for the GPS, the GPS module, will be back here. So, the battery is a pretty big battery. Uh, 5200 uh, milliamps. 14.8 uh, volts, the 4S battery. And another cool thing about this, this design is... Uh, these arms that hold this gimbal on. It doesn't mount, you can screw this gimbal directly onto a, a quad, but uh, with this one it has these hooks and there's rubber. There's a, this piece in the center here is metal and these are rubber pieces on the inside. So the poles actually go through the rubber where it gives it a little bit more flex because these motors whenever they're on they vibrate a lot which makes the uh, video have like a jello look uh, if you look at my other video I posted of my other drone you can see that it's really apparent but uh, with these the, these have these rubber pieces on here that dampen the vibrations a little bit but also on the gimbal you've got this arm here which holds the actual gimbal uh, and it comes through if you look here there's two plates the actual gimbal where that arm comes up 
and connects to the top plate but these hooks are connected to the bottom plate the only thing that actually uh, touches from the top plate to the bottom plate are these rubber dampeners here so this has actually got uh, dampening on the gimbal itself and on the, the quadcopter's frame itself so that's pretty cool I'm hoping it should get some pretty steady videos uh, I still got to do a little bit of software adjustments on this it's not quite as uh, uh, intuitive it shakes a little bit whenever you uh, knock it off balance so I got to adjust the power levels on it but anyway it's coming along I still got uh, quite a while the uh, the flight controller is coming in from Hong Kong I believe which is oddly enough the same place I got the frame from the frame got here several days ago but uh, I don't have a tracking number for the the props and the controller so I'm not I have no idea when they're gonna be here uh, as soon as though as soon as the flight controller gets here I could almost be finished with it uh, of course, I have no idea how long it's going to take for them to send me the new the radio uh, that you actually control the drone with. Uh, I sent it back. It's supposed to be at their uh, warehouse in New York on Tuesday. And then they said it could take up to 14 days before they send the replacement out. So I think that's a little ridiculous, especially since it was completely their fault. They sent me something that they knew didn't work and then they still made me pay shipping to send it back but anyway I digress uh, the only thing I'm not so sure about is that, and this is a carbon fiber frame it's carbon fiber fiber and it's really rigid but the only thing I'm concerned about are these legs they seem really flimsy to me uh, in all honesty I think one good hard landing these are probably going to break. So I might be fabricating my own legs at some point. You can buy them. Uh, I think you could probably buy this exact same one. But if they're crap, I'm not going to replace them with crap. So I'll either make my own or uh, maybe buy it with a different brand for the landing gear. These motors are pretty cool. Uh, I'm using 11 inch props on these. And from the, the reviews I found online, with four of them with 11 inch props on a 4S battery, which is 14.8 uh, volts, which this, this one actually, uh, right now it has almost 16 volts in it because it's fully charged. But anyway, uh, with that four of these motors should give me about 12 pounds of thrust. So hopefully that will be more than enough. This thing actually ended up being a good deal heavier than I was expecting. Uh, I was expecting total build weight to be around uh, about 4 pounds. And I'm thinking I'm going to be closer to 7. Because it's pretty heavy for a drone. I mean, I'm going to definitely have to be careful with it. Because if this thing falls out of the sky and hits someone in the head, it definitely hurt. So, anyway... See you later.